Hey guys, I got the new Impulse Beta boards in today, and I'm happy to say they work pretty much perfectly. Um, compared to the original Beta, I've got the Beta 1 and the Beta 2. The first Beta had the autococker buttons on it, and I thought they were better quality buttons, but they were too tall and they didn't sit right in the frame. So this uh, new Beta goes back to the original style buttons. They're placed on there in more accurate positions, which was one of the problems with the first beta. Um, so that pretty much fixes all of the problems. Also, on the original beta, I've got components on the backside. On the new one, it's totally flat on the backside. Well, not necessarily flat, but you shouldn't have anything interfere with your frame. Uh, it works, should work with the adrenaline frames. I'm going to have that tested shortly, I hope. And... I like it. I'm happy with the improvements. For those of you who are not using an upper board, you can plug the solenoid in to a new socket that's installed right here. Uh, you'll have to replace the connector on your solenoid though. The original connector was too uh, tall and would have interfered with the upper board for the people that do use the upper board. So in order for me to hide that down there and make it a little bit more universal, I had to go with a different size connector, a little bit smaller connector. So you'll have to replace out the connector on your solenoid. Uh, it's not a big deal. You just kind of snip the wires and, and solder the new one on there. Um, also, it's got another connector up here in the front which allows you to use autococker eyes. A lot of people were interested in that. You can use autococker eyes on this. For anyone who gets one of these uh, Beta 2 versions, the eyes, the autococker eye harness actually needs to be reversed. So the red, black, yellow, white has to go to white, yellow, black, red. And I don't know how after doing so many autococker boards that I possibly got the uh, connector wrong, but somehow I did. And I'll fix that on the production board so that problem will go away after this run of betas. Um, so yeah, that's it. I'm real happy with this one. Uh, all the upgrades I wanted are there, all of the fixes I wanted are there, and uh, I think this is the final version. So yeah.